Hello and welcome to my faithful fans. I'm not sure I could say plural. Faithful fan, maybe? I don't know. A couple of you. Anyway, or if you've accidentally clicked onto this video, <laughs> you're not going to know what I'm talking about. But I will proceed anyway for those who've have been watching. Now then, we'll be looking here at the wave for the girls from year 0 to 2128. As you can see there, it's just a massive hump. It goes from minus 25,000 up to 25,000. Probably a bit meaningless the numbers there at the moment. And along the uh, going along axis, whichever one that is, I forgot, X or Y, we've got time. Now they're separated into uh, <coughs> each, you can't, the, each dash is actually two. So I'm just, I should probably start again. <laughs> no, I'm not going <laughs> to. On to the boys onto the boys and you see here it's a different wave same um, scale you'll see in the next picture the actual dates and then it will make sense and then the boys goes from minus 10,000 to 10,000 so not as big but more of them okay so this is the two waves combined and here I've put the dates in so it makes some sort of sense to you from year 0 to year 2090. So, obviously I haven't put the moods in for the year, the month and the day. They would just be far too small to see. The zigzags you can see are caused by the 19 year wave. And that sort of hilly looking wave there is the two waves combined the men and the women because we are soulmates so we do feel each other's stuff but I will keep both the female and the boy wave up in the corners throughout this video so it will just remind you that <clears throat> you know historical events some will be affected more by men and some by women and yeah so it's an interesting thing we'll we'll have a look at these historical events and just see what we think so yes an obvious one 33 AD yes surely we all know what happened then they crucified the Christ God's Christ on earth and they crucified him so not great thing and sort of fits there being right down there at the bottom couldn't really get much lower although about 30 years later is actually the bottom of the male wave but at year zero was the bottom of the female wave so in between that 33 AD we had this event Okay, and then year 285, we've got the splitting of Rome into the western and the eastern sides. Now, is that a good thing, a bad thing? But if we look at the wave there, we're steeply coming up. Both the male and female waves are going up. 1710, uh, 710, sorry, Muhammad, can't have a picture of him, of course. Um, but Islam, I guess you could say it's founded then. So this is when Muhammad would have been 40 years old. I think that's when he was had in his main stuff, doing his main stuff. He lived for another 20 years. But what we see here, at this point, the wave has dipped a little. Now the female wave is still going up, but the male waves hit its peak and is beginning its descent has begun its descent next one 
835 is when the Vikings first invaded England uh, to the unsuspecting people. These new warriors were something else and they've spread all throughout the world and changed quite a lot of things. But some of that is disputed. So that is actually at the bottom at the bottom of the male wave, but the female wave is still going up. Next one, ten ninety nine. So at this point we have just passed the top of the female wave and the male wave has started to come back up since 864 so the male wave has been coming up for 300 years it's actually nearing its peak again the female wave is sort of now just beginning to come down but not it's still in its lull period so this is the uh, 1099, the, uh, the, what do they call them, the conquests. <laughs> yeah, I've forgotten. forgotten what it's called now. Oh, come on. Crusades, that's it, Crusades. Um, so you could say, was well, that a good time, bad time? Well, it was hard to know if you weren't there, but the Dark Ages, as they're so called, um, only called the Dark Ages because there's just not very much we know for sure about them in history terms because in history terms they only believe if, if it's written down so there we go uh, 1210 now on this combined wave that here is the peak so 1263 is the peak for the male wave and we've had the peak for the female wave in 1064 so it's quite close this is as good as it's been or will ever be this is you know is good times now we've got uh, the guy there is saint francis of assisi i would even consider him a christ and i think he did a lot more more than we know I think he faked his death when he was 40 years old he did see he went blind but he didn't go blind in the normal way he couldn't open his eyes because it was too bright so he had to wear something around his eyes but I think he would have cured himself of that and faked his death because he realized the Catholic Church were evil scumbags and started the protestant movement and if you actually look on wikipedia the protestant movement did start with the franciscans so there 1429 that lady there is joan of arc uh i don't know an awful lot about her but um she was seeing visions God was speaking to her, and boy, did she have an effect. But we're definitely on a big downslope. Both the male and females are going down. So this is, uh, you know, probably felt pretty bad at the time. But she was some sort of saviour. 1349, pretty horrible time. Um, hang on a minute. I've got those two out of, I've got them in the wrong order, sorry. So, because I'm, yeah, so anyway, 1349 came before Joan of Arc, uh, obviously bad, you know, look, when it's happening, it's sort of happening as the, as you know, they've been in a high place and then they're steeply coming down, so it's sort of like a, premonition of the crap we've got to come 1580 francis drake sail around the world you know maybe people have got used to coming down now and some hope is appearing speculation of course 1666 great fire of london but as you see down down there in the depths going down just seems to fit 
And these are major events. You couldn't think of many more major events, I don't think. It's always a bit difficult to say what's the big thing. Because things accumulate and that has a bigger effect. 1794, invention of the combustion engine. And if you see from the, the combined line here, you know, things are looking up. And it's because men are coming up. They hit their bottom in 1662, although the women are still going down in their wave. Men are now been coming up for a good 150 years. So, I mean, some good things are starting to happen. But then, you know, there's a war in 1914. So, what can we say? There we go. Um... Just thought I'd, you know, do an extension to the previous video, and why don't we now go ahead and look into the future? So I haven't, so I've done a 19-year wave for boys and girls, but I haven't done um, for the southern hemisphere. Sorry, but you know, unless it's requested by someone in the southern hemisphere, I'm not going to do it. Basically, you're ahead six months, so this wave would look very much like this, boys born, da 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 da, um, but just a little further ahead, so your peaks would be six months before. So you can see I've put the the each year on, so each peak, whether it's uh, each peak and trough is a year because the waves you're seeing here are the years. Of the waves. Um, by the way, if you did watch my previous video, um, I have made some a few little corrections to the the magnitudes of the waves. I've I, I got things a little bit muddled up. It doesn't. It didn't actually affect the pictures much in the previous one. One of them, all three were slightly wrong, so it didn't matter. And another one. Yes, I think the the years or the 19-year wave looked a bit weak, weaker than it should have done. Anyway, so this is how it should look. So a 19-year wave. So we see um, by <clears throat> September 2020, men will be hitting their peak, um, which for Southern Hemisphere men is actually March 2020. Um but anyway, we're not going to discuss them. So that's how they are six months ahead. Uh, and then the next year, 2021, hits a little low. So we can see from this that 2024 is going to be awesome. You know, that's going to be the peak for men. Absolutely peak. And then uh, 2027 is going to be the first sort of dip year. We're going to be feeling it down there. And then it just goes down, and we've got September 2033, not to look forward to particularly very much. That's going to be <clears throat> what I'm saying when the fifth trumpet, that's the midst of it. If it's a 10-year trumpet, then that's the midst of it, midst of it. And if we have a look at the girl wave, so here I've actually put some lines on just to show when these uh, watch points are going to be. So after the good times that we have in the early 2020s, um, you know, things are going to become eerie and weird again. And from my prediction, this time it's going to be a real, real tough, real tough on those who want to stick with the beast system and don't want to go with God. You know, they're, they're the, they're the ones who will be mostly affected by this, or that will affect everyone. Um, so yeah, if you want to have a, a closer look, you can always pause on any of these images. Um, I suppose you know there's not masses to talk about when you're looking at these waves and stuff, but it's. Yeah, I think it's more to think about, more to ponder on. So, anyway, 
I think that will do it. Okay, cheers. Bye. Thank <laughs> you.